and we are good to go we just need to make this smooth uh, the entire object smooth and now we have our handbag so we just need to turn on the subdivision and this is what we have So what should we work on next? Can we let's add this uh, thing here, uh, which is quite easy. So let's first turn off subdivisions here. Come here, add plane, rotate it 90 degrees, uh, scale it down, bring it forward around there. Can bevel these. around there insert turn on subdivision surface you need to straighten this so we can add supporting loops there you now we can insert this then push that out like that and uh, we can uh, extrude or we can just select uh, this part extrude it in extrude again and then scale in then I think we can add a supporting a supporting loop here and add a loop here and then use alt s to push it out like that so that we have something like that and now we can s smooth uh, that part like that I think we also need a supporting loop around there. And uh, push, maybe uh, push this in a bit. So this part here needs to be pushed in so that it doesn't intersect. So now we need to add in this lock. So that is a C c's so for that we can use uh, the curves uh, go to the curve settings here let's use around 12 that says align to view let's isolate this Isolate, go to edit mode, scale this down, delete these vertices, then extrude, add a subdivision surface. Think we can select this loop, push it in a bit like that, and uh, add supporting loops like that and uh, supporting loops like that but uh, see it loses its curvature when we add those so we need to select these then push them in a bit maybe use our cursor as the pivot point and rotate these loops that we have added in to maintain our curve shift D duplicate mirror this in the X direction and then move it like that and go to the front view and um, let's see let's see let's see you can select this loop turn on proportional editing uh, make sure that is set to connected then move it let's see let's go move these around so that oh move this bottom section so we can select these here increase our selection and 
I don't know, maybe we'll, let's just select the entire thing, rotate it. Hmm. Rotate it like this and then select this loop. I'll push it out like that. Now let's see. We need to remove to eliminate that intersection, intersecting those intersecting parts. So we have something like this. And for the lock, it shouldn't be that complicated as well. Let's turn off proportional editing. Shift D, duplicate one vertex like that. And uh, we can create something of this sort. Uh, hmm, yes, turn off proportional editing. push it inside a bit and then insert insert extrude uh, extrude scale extrude so we have something like this that this is too big so we can push it back And uh, that is going to be our lock. So go to the front. I think this is are too small. So let's see how we can make them larger. So if we selected this, Control L. If we use Alt S, let's select one. Control S, Alt S, make it larger. Select the other one, Alt S, also make it bigger like that. And uh, that is our lock. Center the origin. Now uh, we can parent it to the to this. I think this is pinching a bit here, so we can move this, separate these evenly something like that so when you look at uh, you see this at uh, the back side it also has this back something so let's do that uh, we are just we just need to select uh, this part here shift D P to se separate that can move it and now let's go and select uh, the different loops that would make up that so let's see let's look at the reference image again maybe save it and So I think we can cut from around, hmm. yeah, we can just cut off everything that is like that, delete that so that we only remain with this, uh, but uh, we need also to delete, let's see, these extra vertices. And uh, we need this to be carved off, so we can select this and this, this vertex and this, hit J, and then delete these extra verses. Uh, before we delete this, uh, push these uh, to, to that and delete those. <coughs> and now we can select one edge like that, one vertex like that, turn on proportional editing. Uh, we can change uh, the fall off of sphere. And do something like that. Also, maybe push it out a bit, like so. 
and we just need to select this ring kind of proportional editing now the first thing we need to do is uh, extrude it so that we have those loops I think we can merge these where you, th where you see three loops just merge them three vertices just merge them into one so that we don't have to deal with that much that many vertices so at the top here we can just merge them to the center the center like that and here we don't need these vertices you can just select this extrude and turn on since clipping is turned on uh, it will just delete those extra vertices uh, we also need to extrude uh, this part here extrude up like that you can select this bevel this edge loop then Merge these vertices so that we have a loop uh, that can go all the way around the bug. I think we have a few issues here, but uh, that shouldn't be too big a problem. So we can uh, just extrude. I uh, can just extrude again. Yes. Extrude again. And now, uh, and now this loop here. Oh, I think we forgot a few things here. Yeah, we, we need to merge uh, these vertices as also so center. Right to the center. Can merge. So now we have a loop like that. I also need to mark these to the center. Let's just extrude this in. Add a loop there, select this loop, and then extrude along its normals to have something like that. And uh, if we add uh, the subdivision surface, we get something like this. Now, if you want, you can, let me see what do we need to add. You can add a loop there. Use Alt S to push it in or out. Or just select this loop. Let's first delete any vertices that are on the other side of the mirror. So any faces that are here. 